The book's called Putin's Kleptocracy because after doing all the research that I've done, I've come to the conclusion that the desire to acquire private wealth is the motivating glue keeping the high Russian elite together. And I call it a kleptocracy because what's happening in this system is Russia is an extremely wealthy country and it has an enormous state capability. But last year, Credit Suisse released a report that Russia has the highest income inequality of any country in the world. 110 people own 35% of the wealth of this very rich country. And all of them are on very good terms with Vladimir Putin. And it seems like as long as there are a sufficient number of Middle Eastern or East European crises to create uncertainty in the global markets and the price of oil goes up, then the poorer population, they get every year a little more. But what if it goes down? Who's going to take the big cut? Is it going to be the 110 or is it going to be the rest? History tells us in Russia, <laughs> it's always the rest.